guys. I filmed this this morning actually, so I'm refilming it right now. The lighting was so dark, it was insane. We have switched personalities with Seattle, so it is raining right now and the clouds are dancing. So if the lighting goes a little crazy, you know, buckle in and go for the ride. We are reviewing Sunday Riley. This was a long time coming for me because I've been using Sunday Riley for like a year now. Not like every single day, but here and there. Um, so I finally decided to pick up an actual AM routine box that they sell and a couple other items and started using Sunday Riley religiously for at least six weeks straight. I'm pretty sure I've used it now for almost three months and I'm here to let you know everything I thought about each product. Just to let you guys know, I do have sensitive dry skin. So it may work for you if your skin isn't as sensitive as mine or if your skin isn't as dry as mine with certain products that I do not find work for me. I was ready for Sunday Riley to be an end all be all. I was super ready for it to be like one of those brands where like I tried it and I never looked back, but it didn't happen like that. First off, everything Sunday Riley is so gorgeous. Like their aesthetic is amazing. I love the boxes of everything, the way that the important ingredients are listed. It's just very eye-catching. So it's like you want to buy everything and you want to try it all out. But I already did that so you don't have to. Literally right before I started using Sunday Riley day in and day out, I had lots of teensy bumps everywhere and a lot of acne under my chin. Fortunately, it was somewhere you couldn't really see, but if I lifted my chin, you could see a bunch of zits and it was crazy. And I will say like three weeks into using Sunday Riley, they were gone. I had a little bit of scarring, but now I think it's, it's pretty clear, right? Also, when I very first started using the products, I was on my PMDD week, the week right before my period starts. So my hormonal acne was going crazy, which provided a fantastic before for this after. I do have makeup on. Um, up until this point, I have always like filmed my skincare reviews with no makeup on just to relate to the video and what I'm talking about. But listen, like I had things to do and I needed to film this. So who cares I have makeup on right now, okay? So the first week of trying out Sunday Riley, since I was on my PMDD week, I interchanged the UFO oil and the CEO glow oil. I used the UFO one at night and the CEO in the morning. And I used it because I was getting lots of acne and the UFO oil is their salicylic oil. It is so eye-catching. It's green. It's pretty. It has an interesting smell, but it's not like a disgusting smell. Um, it kind of has like a like a tea tree type smell. It's honestly pretty innovative because when you think of salicylic acid, especially if you already have dry sensitive skin like myself, um, you think of drying. You think of the Sahara Desert. You think scary and they were able to make salicylic acid in a form of an oil that is really gentle. So I think it's really dope. I actually heard from someone else that when it's like their period week and they have a lot of hormonal acne, these are the two oils they use and they interchange. Um, so that's what I did. I didn't find a incredible amount of change to be honest, but it is nice to know that you're not putting on like a really high percentage of, really high percentage of salicylic acid onto your skin because salicylic acid does really dry out your skin. It works, it gets deep in there, it unclogs the pores, it helps blackheads and acne, but it dries the frick out of your skin. So it's really cool to see it in an oil but then that being said i don't think it was also that effective i did use it all the way up though that's for sure like it's gone like it's in the trash like she's r.i.p the ceo glow oil has turmeric in it and i really really love this oil if you are sensitive to vitamin c me i swear i used to not be sensitive to vitamin c but i think certain things that i've been trying out lately are just really potent and they're way too strong for my skin. This is a gentle version of vitamin C. I think I want to say it's like 5%, but don't mark my words right now. You can just look it up. Um, the CEO glow oil has turmeric in it, so it helps with inflammation and then it literally like makes you glow. It's so pretty, so it's fantastic to put on day or night, but I really like to put it on daytime and then like follow up with my beauty routine. Um, it's really gorgeous and the Sunday Riley oils are so fast absorbing. I honestly do think that Sunday Riley holds the best facial oils. They are so pretty, aesthetic, beautiful, feel good on your skin. And in case you didn't know, oil 
actually combats oil. So if you have oily skin, don't be frightened by oil. And if you haven't tried face oil, I would try Sunday Riley's first. It's a little backwards, but when you have oily skin, the reason you have an excess amount of oil absorb, not absorption, of oil production is because your skin is actually drier than dry. It's more dry than someone with dry skin. That's why you have so much oil production. So oil does combat oil. So don't be scared of face oil. And that's why they also say to still definitely moisturize your skin when you're oily because that's what your skin is crying for is moisturization. That's why you're so oily. Weird, right? Um, after that, they also have the Juno oil, which I have right here. This guy is such a pretty bottle, first of all that um but it's an antioxidant and superfood facial oil it has like hella fruit oils and beautiful things in here it smells so delicious but it's kind of heavy i've used this a few times but um it's pretty full still i just can't use it like daily or weekly i kind of forget about it i use it when i want to like shave my mustache I use it um, sometimes when, like, you know, when you take a shower, but it's not quite nighttime and you still have to go outside again. You don't want to put SPF on. The sun's not shining too hard because you don't want to wash your face again when you come back into your house. You can just go to sleep, you know, like that type of shower, but it's only like 5 p.m. type thing and you still got to go outside. I'll put this oil on just because it's antioxidants and superfood filled. So all the environmental stressors that I'm introducing to my skin again are getting blocked. Okay, they're getting, they're getting thought after okay so my skin is protected so i actually like to use that for that too but i also think it's a fantastic oil for like your neck your body your decolletage your feet like the face though it's not as fast absorbing as the other ones it's a little thick and it kind of just feels like like a face oil like there's nothing like superb about it except its smell it smells so good i do love though it has so many 100 percent pure plant extracts that's a crazy thing like it has so many superfood seed oils but it doesn't break you out so that's really cool too about it so yeah i think it's just one of those oils where like if you gua sha this is something that you'd want to put on your face but it's definitely not a daily thing for me it's just too heavy before i should have gotten into the oils the face wash the clay face wash really it's like french green clay it really surprised me i was ready to only use this face wash at night because of my sensitive skin and the clay in it i immediately thought of like the amazonian green clay you know like everyone used to do those face masks it strips the crap out of your skin it is extremely purifying like it's insane that's what i thought was in this and maybe it is but they just purified it to a way i don't know this face wash exceeded all my expectations i was ready to only use it at night because i was scared of it drying out my skin and doing a little too much but honestly it actually did a little too little so it's very very gentle it's so thin it smells great and it's not stripping at all to the point where i also sometimes wouldn't feel like my skin is like super 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 clean um that's how non-stripping it was so really really surprising i would buy it again but there's just other facial cleansers that i feel like don't strip me but also make me feel like i'm really clean um and this one just didn't do the clean part enough for me like if i if i took like a like a cotton pad to my skin you won't see any makeup or anything but i just didn't feel like clean you know, I don't know, maybe I like to be stripped a little so that I feel like extra clean. <laughs> Next, let's get into their lactic acid, the good jeans. This is really popular. I thought I'd love it, but I didn't love it as much after like the third time I tried it out. So the only lactic acid I'm like really loving right now is the Shani Darden one. I feel like it's gentle enough, but when I wake up in the morning, my skin is definitely exfoliated. It's a little brighter to be energized. It's a new layer of beautiful clear skin. Skin. this one i think it was just a lot of additives that don't need to be in there my skin is so sensitive and i swear it gets even more sensitive it's like becoming more susceptible to the healthy items that i put into my skin so when i really put something on that's not as clean my skin's like girl like what did i just say but i have super sensitive skin and i know exactly what not to put on my skin i was excited for this lactic acid the first few times i put it on it was cool i wake up in the morning it wasn't like a oof yes like reset you know how i kind of got with the shani darden one but the third time i tried the lactic acid i noticed some burning and some stinging and i realized 
I don't like the smell of this. So I actually couldn't keep doing it. I threw it away. I couldn't keep putting it on my skin. I didn't like the smell and my skin was like, you know what, actually we don't like this. And it was more of like an unpopular no for me. But also keep in mind you guys, makeup, skincare, hair care, beauty is so personal. So no matter how popular an item is, like you don't have to love it. If it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you. There's plenty of things out there, which is also like, it's hard. It was hard for me when it was like, ooh, I want that new YSL foundation. But then it's also like, there's so many brands now that have great foundations without all that nasty stuff in it. Like why? why would I get a YSL foundation? It's like that now for me. So I'm glad to be the guinea pig for you and let you know what's up and what you should buy and shouldn't and what you should and shouldn't put on your skin. Let's move on to another thing that I was so sad to report really didn't work for me. And it's the autocorrect brightening and depuffing eye cream for dark circles. I was, girl, so excited for this product. It burned the crap out of my under eyes. This also happened to me with the Ula Henriksen color correcting under eye. I almost did a review for you guys on Ula Henriksen, but everything was uh, like hurting my skin so I didn't. I got that same exact reaction when I tried the Sunday Riley autocorrect. Just didn't work for me and I went back into the store and pumped a little bit just on my hand and as soon as I did I noticed like singing and on just on my hand so I was like oh yeah this is not for me. Next the serums. Their serums are so cute. They have one of the highest potency vitamin C serums. It's called the CEO serum. That one dun, 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 did not work for your girl either. That one is really popular in Sephora and it was just way too strong for me. Immediate discomfort, stinging, burning on my skin. So it was an immediate, absolutely the heck not. Didn't wash it off either that first day that I tried it. And when I woke up in the morning, I had acne. That was not cool. But I believe after this day is when I did notice my chin acne was getting better. So I would give that to the like face oils. Love those, the UFO and CEO glow oil. I think those were really helping this because she's gone next the be nice serum this one's super new um i have it right here i got it as gratis i didn't buy this one myself so i was super excited to just like add this into the review it's their 10 percent niacinamide serum it's pretty high and niacinamide niacinamide is like that b word <laughs> that was so awkward for me <laughs> she's like an it girl ingredient right now within all the brands. Nice and mine helps your skin no matter what skin type you have, especially oily skin though. Um, it helps with your pore size. It helps balance your skin out. It helps with oil control. It helps with redness and irritation, especially if, if you have sensitive skin. Um, nice and mine's just like really good ingredient to have. I specifically loved this one because hello, purple bottle and it's literally lavender. It's so pretty. It didn't annoy my skin at all. And I actually started to use this every day before my makeup. I would use it as a primer because since I have dry skin, I don't usually opt for like matte, super matte primers ever. But something like this, like using a strong, really good niacinamide definitely controls my oil throughout the day without super mattifying me or making me feel drier than I am. It's incredibly fast absorbing and it does immediately like mattify a little bit, but not to the point where it's like a mattifying product. Okay, lastly, I've got two more things for you. I'm gonna leave the best for last, which I'm sure you guys know what it is. Oh my gosh, wait. No, there's three more things. Let me talk about the sunscreen. I really like the sunscreen. Um, something I really like about it is it protects you from blue light as well. Not a lot of sunscreens do that, but a lot more sunscreens are trying to do that now. Um, their sunscreen's great. It's a mineral, so it looks white. It's a lot of zinc, but as you rub it in, it disappears, so it's amazing. I will say it's a little mattifying. Once I put it on, no matter how much moisture I just put into my skin, it does like suck out some of the oil, which is actually kind of nice, you would think, because sunscreen sometimes aids to like the greasiness and the more oiliness that you have during the day so if you are oily you would love this sunscreen but i really like the sunscreen um it doesn't smell too much like sunscreen and then yeah it's got all the protection there for you the uva the uvb and blue light it's pretty cool without giving you like a grease ball look now the essence the pink drink she's cute okay it's like a face quencher that blasts you with hydration smells amazing feels so good huge step up from mario badescu also 
you're living under a rock if you still use Mario Badescu. They're really bad for your skin. Um, there's a lot of research on it. It's supposed to firm, resurface. It's got peptides in it. Um, it has fermented honey and botanical extracts. So that's what I really liked about it too. It's actually supposed to do a lot for you all in just a, a spray of a bottle. It's really cool. It's got prebiotics in it. I really, really, really like this. Big fan of the pink drink. Lastly, the star of the show, the Afterglow CEO Cream. This is amazing. This has been my favorite moisturizer, my number one, my top dog for the last year. I have rebought it four different times, slash gotten it in my gratis like twice, but I use it up and I use it quick. It is so good. They actually have another version of it. It's the CEO Rich Cream, but that one I found has different ingredients in it that also can clog your pores if you don't want that. I would just stay with the Afterglow one. I do have dry sense of skin and this one moisturizes enough. That's something that's huge. Who do you see? The greatest moisturizer on earth right now. It's really fantastic. It gives me enough moisture, which I love because the scariest thing when you get a new moisturizer is it not giving you enough moisture when you have dry skin. Um, this one gives you an optimal amount of moisture. You are glowing immediately. Your skin is being brightened. It has some vitamin C in there, so it is constantly helping brighten your skin and your dark spots and all of that it's amazing it smells great it feels so good and refreshing and just like succulent when you put it on your skin i use it day and night i literally love it and every time i run out i'm like oh like like a, i really like this moisturizer so 100 percent recommend it to actually anyone of any skin type you will be obsessed. That is all for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please comment down below if you guys have tried Sunday Riley, what you like, what you didn't like. Also comment down below and always let me know if you have any requests or any brands that you'd want me to try um, to see if they're susceptible for sensitive skin and all of that. I will do it. I will put my skin out there for you, okay? Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I will see you guys next time. Mwah. Bye.